Hey folks, Ben Greenfield here. Early morning at the Greenfield household. I just got out of bed and I'm seriously considering taking in my favorite morning beverage, coffee. I don't eat the beans, I grind them and brew them first. But the thing about coffee is that it does have a lot of caffeine in it and there are arguments out there that it's pretty acidic, which it is. If you're not taking in organic coffee or maybe one of those more expensive gourmet coffees, there's also a pretty good chance that there's some chemicals or some preservatives in your coffee. So what are the alternatives? Well, you're going to learn about them in my two-week Java Judgment. I have two healthy coffee alternatives here that I'm going to be experimenting with. During the first week of this, this uh, Java Judgment, I'm going to be using Living Fuel Super Coffee. I've got a decaffeinated version for the afternoon, and I have a caffeinated version for the morning. So the ingredients of Super Coffee caffeinated is organic Arabica coffee and extracts of organic black tea. So they've put antioxidants in there. You're also not getting some of the acidity that you're going to get with a brewed coffee. A little bit fewer of the oils. So this decaf one is basically a uh, organic Arabica coffee extract and extracts of organic black tea. Same thing, decaffeinated. So super coffee is the first thing I'm going to try for one week. We're going to see how my body feels. And then I'm going to stop super coffee and I'm going to switch to something called Ticino. Now Ticino doesn't actually have any coffee in it. Ticino is organic carob, organic barley, organic chicory, dates, almonds, organic dates, vanilla extract, natural nut flavor, and organic figs. I'm not sure why they chose to put dates and organic dates in there. But either way, Ticino actually doesn't have any coffee in it. I'm going to go with this stuff during week two. Now in both cases, I'm not going to be drinking any coffee at all. No mochas, no cappuccinos, no lattes, no orange frappuccino vanilla surprises. Nothing at all except these two healthy coffee alternatives. Now after two weeks, I'm going to let you know how my body felt with each of these and let you know which one is the winner of the two-week Java Judgment. Stay tuned.